Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Monday, December 15, 2008. This morning I'd like to go through a feature that is in development for the next release of CENCOM Small Talk and will be part of the product. So let's go to the store menu and connect to our repository where we can see how this is going. So we'll go to the published items, bring that into the view, start typing auto complete pick that. There are also tests for this which you can load but I'm just going to go with the package for now. So let's select autocomplete, we'll hit load and we'll just let that come in. Now that that's in, let's go ahead and see how that works. So let's bring up a browser and coming down here we'll create a new package, my package, and we'll create a new class We'll call it my class. We'll give it some instance variables, foo bar, hit OK. Now, the first thing you're going to notice in the browser, and this is new, is these little numbers that show you how many methods are in that particular protocol. So there's one initialize release called initialize. I want to add a new method called print on stream. And here's where I'm going to show you how the autocomplete works. I'm going to start typing super. P-R-I-N-T, and now I'll hit tab, and notice it gives me this little pop-up. It sees two possibilities. I'll select the first one with the arrow key, then I'll hit return, it'll just pop it right in there. So super print on stream, and then I'll say self, actually not self, let's say stream. That's what would work if I could actually type. Next put, hit tab, and now it gives me some more choices. Let's go down here, select next put all, hit return, and we'll put in it works hit control S and it compiles. And now you'll notice it moved it to printing and tells me there's one method there. So this is some of the stuff that's coming into the next release of the product. You can see that progress is being made, new features being added that make the development environment both easier to use and more pleasant to use and as an aside show that autocompletion is something you can add to a dynamic language. You don't need to have static or manifest typing to have that in. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with small talk.